we have noticed that uh, the frequency and intensity of um, um, cable theft and vandalism of infrastructure um, have uh, severely increased ever since we have had uh, this uh, load shedding on a daily basis. Some inspectors wake up uh, to record as high as over 100 incidents of vandalism and theft of cables. So that's how rough it is as we speak. So, um, precisely because um, things do know the load shedding schedule that is communicated with the public, they do know the two hours of load shedding in a particular area, and hence the vandalism and uh, theft is actually rife. Um, 5% of these um, um, incidents were actually incidents that were over 100 um, per load shedding per day. Then around 48% uh, were incidents that were recorded at less than 10 incidents per day per load shedding. So by virtue of even 12% of these incidents that are over 100 per day per load shedding per municipality, it does uh, show how rife the theft and vandalism is um, as a result of load shedding. Um, and then the a number of equipments that are being vandalized and stolen on a daily basis, but uh, we have noticed that 25% of this uh, theft and vandalism is actually um, cables that are theft, uh, that are stolen rather, um, and then 23% is actually transformers, and the rest of other percentages are for other electrical equipment that are being uh, stolen and vandalized on a daily basis uh, when there is load shedding um, in different parts of the municipalities. Um, over and above that, we do um, replace um, equipment that are um, uh, damaged um, mainly due to excessive switching uh, because you know that electrical infrastructure are not designed for frequent switching. We do also replace and repair equipment that are stolen and vandalized. Um, and um, municipalities um, are spending over um, 1.5 billion um, rand per um, financial year. Actually, the real figure that we estimate for all licensed municipal distributors is actually uh, goes beyond 3 uh, billion rand that has been spent. These are uh, funds that were never budgeted for because this is precisely what is being replaced or repaired as a result of uh, theft as well as vandalism. Um, looking at some of the pictures, anyway, I'm not going to uh, waste time on this. These are uh, uh, things that uh, we um, wake up almost on a daily basis um, finding in our infrastructure, vandalism and theft, um, cables that are dug um, underground um, on a daily basis in different municipalities. Um, and yeah, these are cables that were basically dug. You can see that uh, the digging here is actually professionally done. This not, uh, these are not uh, chances. Um, and it does show that this work that might, is a work that might also be done by some other equipment as opposed to a normal spade. Uh, but anyway, this is how rife uh, theft and vandalism is as a result of load shedding. And of course, we acknowledge that uh, the cable theft has been there before load shedding. But ever since there has been load shedding, it is abnormally high. So, looking at the wastewater treatment facilities, um, we we have realized that uh, the municipalities are spending a lot of money in uh, repairing infrastructures that are um, yeah, destroyed, that are vandalized. Um, almost um, half of a billion rand um, has been spent um, in uh, this financial year uh, to repair and replace the damaged um, infrastructure. Uh, normally, that is a, that's something that's okay during the, the load shedding. And um, of almost um, half of a billion rand uh, was basically spent on the procurement of um, backup gensets. We know that uh, um, the wastewater treatment works. Uh, will need um, power to operate, and these are facilities that operate 24/7. Hence, we have no choice but but uh, preparing the gensets as a backup to ensure that um, these facilities remain operational even during um, load shedding. And um, we then, yes, as I said, have almost half of a billion for gensets, um, and again um, half of a, um, a billion again for um, a fuel. Um, as we know, that genset will basically need fuel. And a total of uh, um, 1.5 billion rand um, has been spent for both uh, repair of equipment in the wastewater treatment facilities, procurement of gensets, which is once off, and of course, um, um, gens uh, a fuel for gensets, uh, which is on, on a daily basis. And this is actually for 75 out of 144 water services authorities. So our estimation, um, as we are to confirm some of the figures and finalizing our assumptions is that uh, the local government is spending over 3.5 billion rand per annum 
um, for the um, uh, waste water treatment um, facilities, which this is all um, happening because of load shedding. So the um, revenue that we're losing as a result of uh, what called load shedding is called unserved energy. By definition, it's actually a value as a rent per kilowatt hour that is placed on a unit, unit of uh, kilowatt hour of energy not supplied uh, to customers due to um, an unplanned outage or, or load shedding. So a lot of um, money that uh, we are losing on a daily basis is when there's load shedding. Um, from the 65 Nassens and Sport distributors, um, the uh, revenue that is being lost is over 10 billion rand uh, per annum. Um, then we needed to then determine that in terms of metros, in terms of local municipalities, and the total loss for all municipal distributors. So out of these 65, uh, five were metros and 60 were local municipalities. Uh, the five metros, um, the, the loss, so the data they gave as a loss due to unsaved energy, 3.9 billion rand, and we average this by the five metros to get an average loss per metro, which then uh, came down to 795 or million rand per metro per annum. And you then multiply this by a total of eight metros. So a total of uh, 6.4 billion from the metros um, is being lost on um, every year due to unserved energy. So to be specific, it's around uh, 6 billion, 361 million rand for metros. Um, this varies from one metro to another. As you know, that they have got different NMDs, notified maximum demands. Um, cities such as Ekurleni, Jobek, they're losing at, you know, around 1.4 billion uh, per annum. And of course, um, Jobek, uh, Buffalo City, as well as Cape Town, is uh, slightly uh, less than what uh, the Ekurleni and are losing. So, again, coming to local governments, uh, sorry, to the local communities, um, which are 60 of them. That gave the data of uh, loss of uh, over six billion. Um, we then divided this by a total of um, uh, the number of these uh, sixty local municipalities. Uh, it came down to an average of around um, one hundred and fourteen um, million rand per local municipality, and uh, we have got one hundred and fifty-six of them as a local municipalities licensed um, service providers. Uh, uh, then it then the figure the loss is around 17 billion rands that uh, local uh, municipalities are actually losing as a result of load shedding or unserved energy. Total for both local municipalities as well as metropolitan municipalities, it goes to around um, or over 24 billion rands uh, that we're losing as a result of load shedding. Then this excludes some unquantified losses of customers that are, as we speak, going off grid. And of course, partial loss for customers that are installing embedded generation that cuts across both commercial, local uh, households, commercial as well as industrial that are installing uh, solar PV as we speak today. That's another partial loss which we are yet to quantify that.